Minions is the sequel, prequel, spin-off to Despicable Me films, and I'm here to review it, so let's get into it. You guys know the Minions? Despicable Me Minions? Who up bananas and talk like... <laughs> uh -huh, banana, banana. Hi. So in this movie, this is basically how they became the Minions that we know. They've been around since the beginning of time, basically, and they're trying to find a boss, trying to find the ultimate villain to serve. And as they go on and on and on to find the perfect villain, they meet up with Scarlet Overkill, who's voiced by Sandra Bullock, and they try to serve her, but things go wrong, and that's our movie. I enjoy the first two Despicable Me movies. I think they're entertaining, they're sweet, they're funny, they're perfect for the families. But I was a little worried about this movie because while the minions are great, characters they're better as supporting characters but as the leads i don't know how it was going to turn out and this movie was just okay it's okay at its best it has good moments but it doesn't have that quality that the first two despicable me films had probably because those films were more towards families this movie's mainly for kids and as a teenager i was kind of disappointed by that because the minions are funny they make the movie funny the movie's not awful i want to say that right off the bat this is not an awful movie if you're looking for someone cute and sweet to see, this is the movie you should go see. But it's nothing great. Like, I don't think the first two Despicable movies are great, but they're very good movies. Because the cast is so good in those movies. I love Gru's relationship with his daughters. I love the minions in those movies as supporting characters. But the fact that they're the main characters in this movie, it just doesn't work for me personally. Yeah, they're funny and everything. They have some of their moments. Like, there's not really many laugh-out-loud moments in this movie. There are two in particular that I won't say, but every other moment is just like, <laughs> oh. There are a few jokes that don't work in this movie for me. I like the voice cast in this movie. You got Sandra Bullock, John Hamm, Michael Keaton, the man who should have won the Oscar. And also you have Alice and Janney. You have really good actors in this movie. And the funny thing is, and I didn't know this until recently, one of the directors of this movie is the person that voices every single minion. That's pretty cool, actually. That's really cool. Animation is really good in this movie. Not, like, beautiful like Inside Out, but it's still really good animation. I was a little disappointed by Scarlet Overkill. She just wasn't as funny as she could have been. She wasn't as good of a character as she could have been. And it's sad because Sandra Bullock's such a good actress. But just the character just didn't have much to do personally. I did like her husband played by John Hamm. I love John Hamm. I love watching that guy on screen. He's so funny. My boy Michael Keaton, not in the movie much, but he was still very good. And Allison Janney, who's also not in the movie much, she was very good too. I just don't like the fact that this movie was more for kids than it was for families. Obviously, this film wasn't going to be just for adults, but there could have been some stuff that were for adults, and there were. I like the 60s music that they have in this movie. There are some jokes that aren't appropriate for kids that are just going to fly over their heads, and I was like, they put this in a family movie? Okay. Like, I chuckled, I just didn't laugh out loud like I wanted to. So this was a pretty disappointing movie for me. I don't really have much to say, so if you guys like the Minions, go check this movie out. I would say go at matinee and not pay full price. That's just how I feel, so I'm going to give Minions a C. Disappointing movie. Not the best movie out there. It's not awful, but it's enjoyable enough for the little kids. They're going to love it. When I saw it, kids loved it. They had a great time of it. There was a kid behind me who was begging for the Minions to come on. Like, he was like, oh, I don't want the previews. I want to see the Minions. It annoyed me at first, but then that's what kids are like. They're going to have a good time with movies. There's not many family movies out right now. Yeah, Inside Out still out, which please go see if you haven't seen. Please, just please, please go see that if you haven't seen it. Also, before I close out my review, I just want to say one thing. Please listen to my podcast, The Films Of. Every two weeks, there's an episode on this channel. And also, check me out on Top 5 Saturdays Live on my buddy Chase Lee's channel. I'll put a link for that in the description below. And I was just on his podcast this past week where we talked about Terminator Genesis. And um, I'm going to be starting a new podcast probably this week called Nerdy Scores, a film podcast, which is basically going into movie news, the new releases, the trailers, all that stuff. And that will probably be starting this week. So come back to this channel and check it out. So guys, thank you so much for watching my review of Minions. And I'll see you guys soon.